All right, he's going to be all worked up. He's going to be freaking out because the committee came out last night with their first rankings, and it was all sorts of SEC love. Let's bring him in the voice of college football, Joel Klatt. Bring him on, folks. He's all worked up. What's up? You know, my earpiece here. Okay. What did they get right? What did the committee get right? Um, I think for the most part, they got probably the first six correct, kind of. I mean, give or take a spot or two. Okay. But from that point on, it was just oh, like. Oh, come on. I mean, I've got the data to back. This is not just an opinion. This is this is data-driven analysis. Okay. All right? I'm not into. Capital I, J. You know this show. Not interested in opinions. We only like research and... Uh, you ready uh, for research? Okay. All right. So they got the Alabama thing right. Can you admit sure. that? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, what did they get wrong? Uh, well, the ACC as a whole was vastly overrated by this committee. And when I say vastly, I don't mean by a couple of spots here and there. Yeah, yeah. I mean like like fraudulently uh, that, overrated. That, 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 okay, you ready? Fraudulently you re- is like bring in the Senate. Let's slow down on fraudulently. Are you ready? Okay. Are you ready? Every Power Five league was essentially within the margin of error when you compare it to the FPI or the Sagarin ratings. Okay. Okay. The teams were basically within two or three spots of where those computer models, which have thousands of variations and and inputs, would have the teams. Except for one. What? The ACC. Did you know that the ACC, if you just take Clemson and you say they're the number two team in the country, that's fine. But then you take the four teams that were ranked from 19 to 25. So you've got the North Carolina States and Boston right, College right. and Virginia and Syracuse. You take those four. On average, not total, Colin, on average, those four teams were ranked 16 and three quarter spots higher than the FBI and 16 spots, on average, higher than the Sagarin But why ratings. would you do that? Who, why, would, why would you even want to do that? Because I think they're holding a very particular conference down. There was only one conference Who? that was negative on that, the Who? Big Ten. The Big Ten got hosed, namely Michigan. Michigan got the, their resume pulled right from under their feet. I mean, right from under their feet. And you know what? I don't think people see it yet. Think about it, though. These four teams that were included by uh, by the committee out of the ACC, and I think it's because Frank Beamer is on the committee. Oh, come on! It, it's always a former coach that's going to have the loudest and most in- influential voice. We saw it a few years ago with Barry Alvarez when the Big Ten was a little overrated in the committee rankings versus some of the other rating systems. Now, the ACC, I'm talking 16 spots Time on out. average, Listen, Colin, I, on average. Okay. By the way, Michigan State, Wisconsin, <laughs> Purdue, I, I, Northwestern, Michigan all State's left out of ratings. Can't throw a ball from me to Joy. And Syracuse can? Wisconsin, Virginia, lost to BYU. Listen, all four of those teams that I just mentioned out of the Big Ten, all four of them are rated higher in those two computer models than you any of those ACC teams. By the way, this ACC deal is is a is a bad computers look. It's make a bad a, look. Computers make a lot of mistakes. Ask the Dodgers. How that analytics go? Okay, yeah, so I, I don't buy compute. I watch the I, games. I'd rather have ten thousand variables and inputs rather than 13 with one very influential rogue vote voting for one particular conference. Time so on average, the power of the Power Five leagues, right. there's only one league, one league, that on average the teams that are ranked are lower than those computers. That's the Big Ten. On average, they're three and a quarter spots okay, lower. Okay, so the committee, the committee thinks ranking. the Big Ten and isn't that, as good. Yeah, but that's not, even, that's not even considering the teams that they didn't even rank. You're telling you're telling me that you don't think Michigan State? Oh, they're garbage. Wisconsin could beat Syracuse or Virginia? I don't know. You I didn't think Syracuse, Purdue beat I Boston I College. Saw, I saw Syracuse give Clemson a uh, fit. I've seen Syracuse beat Clemson two times. I Wisconsin. I watched them. If I gave their quarterback a football, said hit the camera, he'd sail it over that skeleton's head. You would take Syracuse over Michigan State. I think Syracuse is underrated. By the way, USC may hire a new coach. Get the Syracuse guy. He's no. great. Syracuse no. is underrated. They are not underrated. They're vastly then overrated. How come they give on average how, sixteen and three quarters? How come spots? they give Clemson a, a, a nightmare every year? Nobody plays Clemson like Syracuse. I watch first Wisconsin. All, first of all, Clemson's schedule is not great. Second of all, this is a team that right now is playing some of the best football in the country, but they always struggle with the same teams. That's because that's what league play is Listen, all about. I just watch Purdue run through Ohio yeah, State and like I a also hot saw knife through beat butter. Up on Boston College, who's ranked fraudulently by this committee. <laughs> yeah. uh, we have the Big Ten at this network. I should suck up to them. Ohio State's broken as a program. 
They're, they're something. Fine. They're a one loss team. You can't argue with the data. You are arguing against facts, and facts don't care about your feelings. Well, I'll tell you, when I look at this thing right here, Alabama, Clemson, LSU, Notre Dame, Michigan, Georgia, Oklahoma, that's your top seven. I don't think anybody's getting hosed there. The that's, one, what I'm, that's what I just Michigan said. Michigan looks pretty good. I, do you want to play back the tape? I came off, in the, and what did I say? The first six or seven teams? Yeah, they, they got those right. I think Michigan is having their resume pulled out from under their feet. That, that, they, they, they're their fifth. Yeah, it doesn't matter where they're at right now. It matters what happens at the end of the season. If my, and if their resume keeps getting folded on each other by this committee and the ACC's propped up, guess what? A one-loss Michigan to, might not make it in. Oh, yeah, if Michigan runs the table, they're not getting in? Of course not they are. Not if their are. resume keeps getting thrown oh, out of for, whack. Like, my you, don't think, you don't think that that's fraudulent? 16 and three-quarter spots on average. I didn't say total, Again, you're Colin. going. You, I said on average. You're bringing out the slide ruler. All I'm slide telling ruler, you. Slide ruler? I'm telling you right now, Michigan at five, that feels fair to me. If my son goes trick-or-treating tonight and they give out four prizes for best costume and he gets fifth, we're not crying when we get home. Why do you That's keep inches. arguing about the top? I told you the top seven are fine. All I'm saying is watch out for this committee because right now they're taking a you-know-what on the resume for the <laughs> Michigan Wolverines. Those four, okay, those what's four their biggest ACC win? Teams, what's their biggest win? Michigan? Yeah. Wisconsin and Michigan State. Uh, you, whoa. All, that, uh, all of a sudden aren't ranked, even though that every computer model and every person that I talk to would absolutely say they would beat your well, your darling Syracuse team, I, I, and in particular is, Virginia. Every year I watch Syracuse play one game, Clemson. They go toe-to-toe with them so every year. you just year. admitted you watch Syrac- Syracuse play one time, and you want them ranked bo- based hey, on that one? Hey, Cindy Crawford walks so by me once Texas a year. A&M I can tell she's in. beautiful. So why isn't Texas A&M ranked ahead of Virginia? Oh, t- well, I saw them one time, Colin. <laughs> I saw them one time, and I got a book. <laughs> All right. How about this one? Let's shift gears to this. You better shift gears. Lincoln Riley the to the Cleveland Browns. Oh, that's interesting, right? Okay. Listen, that would be my first call. Why wouldn't it be your first call if you're Cleveland? But why would I want to go if I'm Lincoln Riley? I, I don't disagree with that I, at I, all. I can win 10 first games. All, I, I think you can probably make more money and have more longevity in college football if you're Lincoln Riley than you can in the oh, NFL. by far. Uh, he's making, what, four and three-quarter million right now. That's going to go up over the course of his contract. If he stays there for 10 or 15 years, you can make an argument that he's going to make anywhere between, shoot, call it 55 and $75 million, probably north of that. And the way that he's recruiting, the way that he coaches, that's that program in particular, there's no reason to think that he couldn't be there for 10 or 15 years. Now, here would be the argument for why you would go if you're Lincoln Riley. And Oklahoma fans are screaming at their, their whatever, in their cars or watching right now on FS1. It won't hurt him. You can go and fail and still get a blue chip job. Nick Saban did it. Chip Kelly did it. So it doesn't matter if he has success at the NFL level at all. So he can go scratch that itch. If it doesn't work out one, two years, guess what he gets to do? Yeah, but come right back to a blue chip job. Now, I'm not saying that you would want to, but that's an arg- argument on that side of the table. But when I hear Lincoln Riley talk, he sounds like Oklahoma. Sure. He feels like Oklahoma. I don't want, I think Lincoln yeah, Riley's his offense feels, yeah, feels I think like he's, a, he's got a perfect, everybody's trying to get happier than happy. Who would you Just want be- with Cleveland? Mike McCarthy. Aaron Rodgers and him, let's just be honest about it. Look at the body language. It's terrible. You ever gone to a party with your wife and you see a couple and you can see their body language is bad and they get a divorce like an hour later? That's McCarthy and Rodgers. I can look at their body language and I'm like, they don't like each other. I can tell. that That's a divorce. That's sound marriage advice. <laughs> just from the other side of the room, just watch the couple at a Halloween You party. can tell when you go to a party. Yeah, probably Joy, right. have you ever gone to a party and you can tell there's they're not they're not touching, they're not close. There's a there's a you know you can tell more when it's at a kid's birthday. Because their guard is in. You know, you go to an like an adult party and everyone their their guard is up, you know, it's yeah. trying to uh, put put together that facade. The kid's birthday. Gloves are off. You can see fights all over the place. Ah, it's great. Terrible. It's great stuff. All right. So you're pro Michigan. <laughs> I think Michigan has been fairly treated. And I think that's good. That's that's our position today. You Colin, think some you think you somebody's are getting hosed. this into something that it's not. I told you the top seven were properly ranked. All I'm saying is watch out if you're a Michigan fan because the resume is being pulled 
out from under hey, your feet. Yeah, Wisconsin. Which the data backs that yeah. up. Yeah, Wisconsin. Try beating BYU at home. Michigan dis- State get listen, a quarterback that can throw a football. Eight I don't feet. disagree with that. By the way, the ACC as a conference, as a conference, they're three and nine against other Power Five leagues yeah. and Notre Dame. That's the worst of any conference. Yeah, that's in because football. Notre Dame is good and they often play SEC. So now you're just giving a pass. No, to a whole I'm conference saying the ACC. Nine? No, I'm saying the ACC's record out of conference isn't good because you know Notre so, Dame. They so play. why in the world would they just get like fraudulently you know thrown into you know the back end of the rankings? The Pac-12. I don't disagree with that. If You're UCLA up played in my backyard, I'd close about. the blinds. You need to tell me why Syracuse, Boston College, North Carolina uh, State, and Virginia should be ranked. You can't come up with an argument. I saw Syracuse one time. You don't need to see stuff a bunch of times to know what's good. Yes, you do. How long did it take to fall in love with your wife? Not very long. <laughs> You this idea that you got to go on 70 you, dates to know what's good. You, are, you know you fell in love in a 10 minutes. You're incorrigible. <laughs> yeah, my right, wife though. is like Alabama. It's just like, uh, boom, number one. There you go. Bam. Joel Klatt. How Joel, many times do I have to see I a, a 25th ranked team? All season. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.